This big thing is called Giant Manta. It's so cool yet unreachable, right? Well, yes, but only until you make the biggest airport to ride it. This is Aiming for Gaming, and today we are playing Satisfactory to ride Giant Manta. The game asks us where to start. Oh, forests! I like forests. So many trees to cut, so many fields to pollute. I'm in. Session name. Sorry, nature. And of course you are sending me there alone. Look, this is my ass burning. Painful thumbs up. Now I should dismantle my landing pod. No escape anymore. Only work. This place is so green. No one will blame me if I take some grass. <clears throat> you look friendly. Wanna be my buddy? Ew. You could just say no. What's that? A limestone? Let's mine it. What a fortune that I always bring my chisel with me. Wait, I can hear something. What are you? What is your limestone? Finders keepers. Anyway, I'm here for iron ore and this node looks like iron. Not you again. Alright, only you and me. And the world behind. Human brain 1, dummy creature brain 0. Time to build the hub. Damn you, Ikea, it looked different in the manual. But we can probably improve it by finishing several tasks. Ok, Google, how to make iron rods? I suppose first we should make iron ingots, then craft some rods. There we go, first milestone is reached. Wow, this is something new, the hub had changed. Round 2, more rods and plates. Give me a sec. You know the deal, my resources, your hub upgrades. Holy moly, this flying thing is huge, I want to ride it. <sighs> but I have to make more items to finish my IKEA hub. You know what, I'm tired of manual mining. Let's use some helping hand, or helping drill. I must admit that you're looking cool. But that's not enough for us, we need to automate everything. And from now on we can use this generator to power up our machines. Which machines, you might ask? This smelter, for example. But first of all, let's find copper ore. Hmm, not that far away. I assume this is it? But I can hear familiar sounds. What a dummy! Do you like swimming? Human brain 2, dummy creature brain 0. By the way, roughly 98% of you watching this video are not subscribed. If you like this video and want to watch more, press like and subscribe buttons to not miss all new stuff I make. Thank you all for your support. I've changed my mind, it's better to place our hub near copper, as iron ore is also in several meters away. Go, go, get your drill, this is your new home. As well as new home for our two smelters. First one will be for iron ingots. As you can see, we just put inside 30 iron ores per minute and it produces 30 iron ingots per minute. Second one will be for copper then. Oh no, I don't have resources to build a power pole. Ok, then we'll start with the iron smelter. Now we can simply put iron ore and voila! Finally, milestone reached. My room now has computers and a bird running in circles. Ok. I guess this is your room now. Now we can make our power pole and connect both smelters to generator, yay! Our next task is to automate our production even further, so let's place two constructors. One for iron plates and one for wires. Actually, it's better to place a third one for concrete. And with all that, we are finally ready to upgrade the hub one more time. This unlocks the most important thing – conveyor belts. No more manual resource movement. Now we can add a bit more machines and… It took a while, but we raided some important buildings. For example, a miner that generates ores. Then multiple storage containers, two for iron plates and rods, and two for wires and cables. Also a small production chain for biofuel. And additional biofuel generators to handle all our power consumption. And all that allowed us to craft a chainsaw. You know what this means, right? Now that we have enough bioresources, we can simply make biomass from both leaves and wood and then combine it and process into solid biofuel. Because solid biofuel is the best biofuel in the game. Do you agree with me, strange looking creature? He agrees. Oh, you finally started to form groups. That's what they call evolution. This factory looks messy, hard to tell what is where. Nice. Oh, I know, let's add foundations. 
I don't know why, but grass is still there. And all that for our space elevator. That's one of the coolest animations I've seen in games. I think we can start making more advanced items. Wait, why I can't move? And that's one of the strangest animations I've seen in games. Oh, so you are finally made it out of the room. Wait, you're hungry? Sorry, but I don't care. Somehow I survived against six hawks, but now I should be careful, because... Ah! What the hell is that? Quickly into water! Spiders can swim! That was close, so let's continue building. Here I can build a coal factory. To do so, I will need water and coal. This should be enough to support 6 coal generators, which is 450 megawatts. As coal doesn't require biomass, we no longer need biofuel generators. Coal is also polluting the environment, so let's change our color to something warm and shiny. Yep, like this. Green color, green power. But one thing is remaining, and now it is achievable. We need to write a giant manta. To do so, first we will unlock jump pads and several important things like coffee cup and walkways. Walkways because they fit airport style, and coffee cup because, well, because it's just cool. Not a big deal anyway, just give me several minutes. Ok, we've made it. A landing zone with a walkways on both sides, as well as pillar with shop and a watchtower. Should be enough for manta riding. You might ask, how I am supposed to ride it? Well, using something like this. that landing we finally achieved what we were aiming for. Next time we'll aim for more, so try to not miss it and see you later!